we print on non-treated fabric, we apply our water-based inks on a non-treated fabric, which is challenging by itself. You, you want uh, to prevent the ink from waking into the fabric and exhibiting any visual defects. So we flood the garment with a water-based mix. We call it fixation first. It's in line with the printing process. Then we jet our water-based inks. When those two consumables come in contact, the ink jellifies and then forms the structure through which we can control our colors and accuracy of detail. Uh, this wet-on-wet -wet process meets allows our customers to meet industrial standards and uh, produce quality goods that are meeting retail business. But it has a ceiling in quality and speed. And I'm talking about brands, su superb quality requirements for durability and for prints. This is where the Max technology comes into play. The Max technology, in essence, is using our water-based pigment six color uh, CMYK red and green, but with the introduction of two new consumables, one being QFIX and the other being Intensifier that are jetted within the printing process, we can exceed printing speeds to a volume that would allow our customers to scale and reduce mass production uh, with ease. Not just that, fabric with absorbency quality has so much ink it could hold when printing wet on wet. This controls your quality, your how bright the white looks like. So if you wanna exceed that level and meet screen-like uh, standards in terms of luminosity of your print, the QFIX allows us to apply as much ink to the point where the luminosity of our print is our white pigment, which is very bright as you will see in a second. The QFIX in essence allow us to print very quickly without any concern of any visual defects that is a result of a wet on wet printing process. This system applies its white foundation in a one single layer while our HD platform does it in two layers and it allows us to eliminate any needed delay within the process that builds up the layers to form a really fast printing uh, mode. Not just that, it allows us to build layers of ink to form texture that is appreciated by a touch and you will see it in a second uh, in live. Yes. This, uh, I wanted to ask the whole group standing here over here in this, are any of you guys screen printers? No screen printers? I, I, you are? I have a screen printing company. Yeah. You have a screen printing company. So what he's talking about, about building layers? Like puffing? Well, no. Those extra consumables he's talking about, or the QFIX especially he'll talk about, that is a liquid digital version of what a flash unit is. Just like we use a flash unit in screen print to build layers and make the white look good and smooth, that's what QFIX does. And the intensifier is almost like a digital catalyst because it has the same benefit too, it cross loops. That's it, and that's why I asked yeah, if it was free. for that. Because that's huge on the, the max size. So the other consumable is Intensifier. It brings the durability to a superior level that would meet top leading brands requirements for durability. I'm talking about more than 15 cycles of wash that would not exhibit any deviation uh, from a reference. This is something that was never, uh, that was very challenging from our side to achieve in our uh, wet on wet technology without that max technology. So there's no longer a concern when it comes to printing semi-transparency or a minimal ink like under dark colors that was most susceptible for that extreme durability stress. When I'm talking about speed, I'm talking about more than uh, around 135 impressions per hour. When I'm talking about impressions per hour, I'm talking about a size of a file that is 13 inch by 13 inch at a pace of uh, handling time that is 20 seconds. This system is really speedy. It requires an operator to dance in the flow of the rhythm of the system to allow our dual palette and dual bridge systems to do its thing. You'll see it in action in a second. We have two bridges that hold the, the, the inks separately. The white inks 
and the colors are held in two different carriages that could simultaneously print on both palettes, shortening the, the time for the print dramatically. So let's see how fast it prints and how vibrant the color would be in our, we call it high production mode, but from a quality standard standpoint, it's brand requirement for durability and uh, impressive uh, lay down of color. So now the system would print uh, on a black shirt. The high production mode, which is way sellable by far. A single layer of white coated with a single layer of color. That's it. Being wet on wet requires curing. Our curing conditions for this technology is a spec of 310 Fahrenheit in 8 minutes. And I'm talking about effective curing conditions because not necessarily if you're setting up your dryer to that spec, the actual curing condition within the dryer would actually meet that spec. So I will soon introduce our smart curing solutions that uh, is integrated in our solution. So the second print would be uh, a premium quality print. This premium quality mode will apply two layers of white to achieve what I call screen-like white. It's luminon luminant to the point where it's 95 in the L value, if it makes any sense to you. Uh, so it's really the vibrancy or the whiteness of, of our pigment. Uh, it happened on the fly that the shirt went in inside the system and was sprayed with fixation. The, the, the spray floods the shirt and then the wiper comes down to smooth down the fiber. Then the printing process starts. So we could do this on a white shirt. Obviously, printing on white shirts does not require any white base for the color. You can just apply the layer of color on top. And now you can uh, even take a closer look at how smooth the lay down looks like, how vibrant the whiting and the solidity of the, uh, of the lay down. about the Cupix is that it allows us to print on a very large variety of fabrics. We can print, we no longer need the absorbency qualities of the fabric. We can print on 100% water repelling material, which is very unique with our process. We can print on leather, raincoats, rain jackets, yes. <laughs> Anything that could hold the heat is printable every material and which is really exciting when you would try to print that ink on polyester since it requires curing conditions that are set to be at a high energy so to speak 310 is a high energy curing process for the most part polyester would then exhibit what we call dye migration the dye that was used to coat the shirt itself would migrate and contaminate our ink. So this is why we have a dedicated system with a dedicated ink set that is curable at a lower energy. But for the most part, water uh, absorbency is no longer a required attribute of a fabric that we want to print on. Now I want to show you something really interesting. Our XDI technology is truly groundbreaking. The ability to build up layers to form a print, a digital print with water-based ink that would ultimately, after curing, would be appreciated by a touch, allows us to emulate analog and traditional effects that are embellished on, on garments today, like vinyl heat transfer, like puff printing, like embroidery. Now, it's never here to replace those 
analog and traditional uh, technologies. However, we're going to talk about the market trends and what is going to drive the, the use, the increased use of this technology is customization and personalization, which are no longer AO, available in our traditional and analog processes. You will see in a second that it does not require uh, a very uh, big compromise or any, anything of that sort when it comes to quality. It's adopting the new standard of customized embellished prints. Now this is slower than that initial print because it's building four layers of ink. Our texture is based on the white ink which has a higher viscosity. Building up four layers of ink is enough for us to apply a lay down that could form the texture that could be appreciated as embroidery or uh, puff print. After the book. Yes. So this is a digital print. <laughs> so So very soon uh, this will come out by by that by the time we got on the show something that allows our customers to stand out when it comes to XDI. A lot of you are familiar with the uh, with the metallic foil press on prints. This is not something that is new. However, when you would press a foil that is metallic to a print, it would stick to everything that is on the garment. But only with the ability to raise certain elements of your print, you're then able to allow this foil to, to stick only to the elevated elements. So now you have a color print that has contour that is metallic. So this is additional process that comes into play but is achievable only with our technology and allows our fulfiller to exhibit goods that would stand out in the market. Now take a closer look of that. This is wet. This is wet. If you touch it, it would smirch. It has the look and would have the feel after being cured of a college embroidered patch. Now, it's, it's key to say that the complexity of the design does not change your production speeds. So there is no limit when it comes to creativity. And we as Garnier grow that excitement around what could be achieved with this, with this platform only by exploring and trying new stuff. Uh, our customers are, are very interested about this uh, potential and are looking for ways to educate the market in adopting these new technologies. Now, I'm going to show you after the physical demonstration when we get together in the uh, conference room, I'm going to show you that we also have a tool we call Digitizer, obviously, that allows end customer or a fulfiller without heavy artistic skills to apply effects on flat prints that would then translate to either embroidery or a contour that is going to be raised or just a texture that is going to show up under a color uh, that could then be appreciated by a touch. I mentioned it earlier, curing is a key uh, component in, in achieving a desired quality. And it was never on, on the Kernit side. Our fulfillers have their own dryers and they would use our prints and would cure them with their own dryers, either purchased by Kernit or by, by other uh, parties. Bottom line, instead of continuing educating our customers to take ownership on the curing process, we as Kernit 
took ownership on the curing technologies and now present smart curing capabilities which really bring innovation that was for many, many decades never introduced in that industry. And I'm talking about um, high-end technology that is integrated within curing processes. I want to produce Stefan from... Uh, Hi guys. Can anybody hear me all right? Okay, so um, have you already said it? Hi, I'm Stefan from Tesoma. We are the newest family member of Cornet and we are providing the curing solutions for our cornet applications. And have you already said it multiple times, smart curing is the topic. Cornet took ownership of the whole, ownership of the whole curing process and we at Tesoma are specializing in curing solutions. For 30 years we have been doing textile dryers and now together with our Cornet family, we have developed this. The big guy over there, the, the big dryer, that is the Titan. Our newest model, it is suitable for taking care of the output of three Atlas Max systems altogether. And what does smart curing mean? Smart curing means that we connected the printer to the dryer. That means the Atlas Max is transferring printing data to the dryer itself. Yeah, they are connected via a Linux box. The dryer then sets itself up to the specific curing requirements necessary for each different garment. How does it do that? We are combining hot air drying with emitter technology, fast response emitter technology. That means when the shirt, or the, let's say when the garment goes in, a camera system, you can see it up there. If you don't mind, we, we can Let's walk this Good, way. get a little bit closer. But I'm not sure exactly what days I'm going to go. When the garment is put on the belt, the camera system recognizes the garment and matches the image it's, it's capturing with the data provided by the Atlas Max. This way it realizes, okay, this garment is with this print is going in, in lane one, in lane one, two or three. And then the dryer will set itself up on the certain lane to the specific curing requirements. For example, let's say you have a black t-shirt with an intense print, a lot of fixer on it. The camera realizes that, double checks with the data. The shirt goes in, the fast response amateurs are switching on using this radiated energy specifically tuned to the requirements of this amount of fixer, quickly evaporates the fixer, and the, and, and the final curing to achieve wash fastness is done in the second part. We are using a three layer system here, so the shirt goes in through the emitters, fixer is evaporated. We can do that with this technology much quicker than before. Before we had about four, three to four minutes time necessary to evaporate the fixer. Now we can go down to one minute. So that's a huge improvement. Shirt goes in, fixer is evaporated, it goes into the back of the dryer, then is transported down to the second layer, comes back, goes down to the third layer and comes out in the back. Like this, we can take care of the output of three Atlas Max systems at once. While having an optimal footprint, you can compare it, those two machines next to each other. This dryer, for example, is capable of handling one Atlas Max machine. Same footprint for this dryer, but capable of handling three Atlas Max systems. That is smart curing. The machines, gonna, the machines communicate with each other. The specific curing requirements are met for each different garment. Only the absolutely necessary amount of energy is consumed for each garment. And as soon as the garment has passed, the emitters switch off. So saving energy. Thank you very much.